I struggle with coldness, and part of that comes from the fact that I don't often like to wear clothes below my groin. I'm also not very trusting. Being like, like being like naturally, being like naturally, being like friendly and warm, it just doesn't come to me as easily. Part of that comes from the fact that most of my childhood was spent standing around strobe lights in dark churches and inside mail rooms and underneath bridges where I would just repeatedly frame my face for just hours on end instead of playing with the other children. I feel like the way that I'm dressing, it kind of emulates the fact that I'd like to have a personality, but I, I just don't. I struggle with this kind of coldness, and I figure that my clothes can give me the attention that other people might get from talking to each other. This makes me happy, and I want to make other people happy by telling them about myself. It's so much more than playing dress up, like Lolita is a huge community of people who love each other and support each other and would never say anything mean about each other. I never really used to have a lot of friends or people that I cared about until I got into Lolita and saw that there were other people who loved themselves as much as I did. It's like part of me that I want to change, maybe if I start with the outside it'll kind of reflect on the inside. Like, maybe if I post myself online enough, people will start to notice me, and then it'll all be worth it. I'm dressing nicely, even though I feel very sick on the inside. Like, if I look polished and clean and cute on the outside, I won't feel so sick on the inside. I don't seem like someone who's approachable because I don't seem human, almost. I'm just something they see pictures of because I'm famous. I'm unique, that's what I'm trying to say. I'm very, very special, and I want people to realize it. I don't like it when people say that I'm a doll, because being a doll, it means I'm an object. I'm not an object, though. I'm just a one-of-a-kind young lady in the world who will change people's lives with my brilliance. I don't really know what's after death, but to me, it doesn't scare me. Because as long as I live my life, loving myself as much as I can every day, and doing the things that I want, and I feel good about myself, and I dress in the way that will make people look at me most, I see no fear in dying. Because I'll live the life that I want to live. If you'd like to help make Special Snowflake a reality, you can donate $300 to watch me drink tea over Skype, or you can buy my apartment on Craigslist.